Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torrin, and welcome back to Imperator Rome as we are playing as the Roman Republic. So, this is going to be a shorter episode, or should be a shorter episode today, because I just don't have as much time to record. Unfortunately, the time has been pretty short the last couple weeks because my kids have been home from the school a lot. They have not been going to school. Uh, I can't even tell you why. Uh, it's not because of COVID. Uh, I don't. I don't know why the the school keeps having these these off days. They say like administrative days and uh, like teaching uh, teacher learning days and stuff like that. You know, schools have always kind of had those days where they the, the kids don't go and the, the while well, the teachers are going uh, for for different reasons. But there's been a lot of it uh, lately, and, and I imagine it probably has to do with the new curriculum that they're working on. Uh, they're supposed to have like an entirely new curriculum at our in our school district uh, next year. We don't know what they're changing or, or why they're changing it in the first place, but because uh, they haven't really told us anything. I've asked multiple times, been at the school trying to talk to them. I went to their little events that they did where they were supposed to be going over the changes, but instead they just spent an hour introducing all the people and why they you know wanted to change things, but didn't tell us what they're changing. So I don't really know what they're doing with the curriculum. Uh, but overall, the I don't know, man. Something's weird is going on in the schools right now, I'll tell you that. Uh, like the kids are, aren't going very often and when they do go they just play video games all day I've been asking my kids like what'd you do at school today and and, and they've been playing video games like all day that's all they do uh, and, and I, from my understanding what's going on is you know they, they teach the lesson and then they let the kids do it at their own pace and then the the kids that are more advanced uh, they just get the work done as soon as they can just you know try and race through it so they can play video games while the teachers then focus on the kids that are a little bit behind and uh that's pretty much the day they spend like a lot of time like hours every day just playing video games uh that's mostly what my kids do now uh which was not the case before covid so i'm not entirely sure what's what's going on at the schools but it's very strange they're they're having lots of off days and when they do go it doesn't seem like they're learning much like, i understand if it was covid related you know as it was uh last year but that hasn't been the case this is not about covid uh, so I don't, I don't really know what, uh, what, what's going on. Uh, but they've been home a lot, guys. So I've had a lot less time to, to record overall. Let's go and get started since it is going to be a shorter video. And the first thing I would like to note is that we're going to save our money, with the exception of what we're going to do here in the beginning. We're going to save the rest of it uh, for building another great wonder. And we'll talk about where we're going to build that once we have enough money, which we're going to need a lot because I'm going to try and get. Uh, you know, uh, another great wonder with the highest prestige level we can, so we can get that that uh, third level. Uh, pretty much not that not much longer after you built it, as we've seen with the, the last great wonder. We got the, the third prestige level pretty quick. does mean you have to spend another 90 influence, though, to get to the third level, which is unfortunate, but uh, you get a lot better bonuses. So what I want to do here, guys, in the beginning, spend a little bit of the money to construct some stuff within these cities, uh, because you'll notice that we're losing uh, some, some loyalty here, as well as in another location, and they actually do have cities here, uh, unlike in, in Spain where we can we can build some stuff. Uh, so let's go to get, probably just want both of these because you see they're not they're not very Hellenic here, 33.33%. Uh, so we're gonna want the Great Temple and the Grand Theater. I don't know how much money we're gonna have after I do all this, uh, but I think it's only a couple locations that are having issues where we actually have cities. We do have this one as well. Let's go ahead and do this one, I suppose we will. Okay, so we might not have very much money at all then because the other one was over here. But I don't think that there's any cities in this one. Oh yeah, there's one right here. Okay, so we're going to get these. And I would like to get more stuff, but let's just work on those two things for now, those two buildings. Now, there are other cities we could build in, uh, but these ones, the loyalty is, is you know, slowly going up. So that's good enough for now, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and save the rest of our money. We might have to build some more in those provinces because we are losing loyalty in all those. So that's going to be an issue. Uh, and... What are we doing here again? Yes, that's right. We're moving these guys over here. Uh, and I did forget about the, the missions that we can get completed. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll give us some, some cities, or at least one city, uh, to be able to build in these areas. To be able to build some, uh, uh, you know, construct some of those buildings that might help us out with our loyalty issues. So with the first one here, we have four different locations uh, to, to select. So let's see where we want to put this. All right, so this one is right here on the coast. Oops. Just looking at it, uh, we're at 13 pops. Okay, the uh, trade good is fish. Uh, just looking at all the trade goods here, and I think the, none of these are cities. Yeah, none of them are cities, so that won't impact anything here. Uh, we got salt, wood, and livestock. So we probably want to base this off of the population. 
uh, more than anything else. So 13 pops here for this city. Let's take a look at the second option, which would be, uh, I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's this one here and it's just not, uh, I'm not entirely sure if that is it. Cause remember sometimes they have the wrong names. Yeah, this is it right here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. This is only one pop, so probably not gonna go with that one. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go with that one, guys. It says up to two pops will become Roman, but only one pop a can, because that's the only one there. Uh, so yeah, we don't wanna do that one. Let's do a different one instead. Let's see where this province here is located. Okay, so that one's right there. I highly doubt this one's gonna have much more. Uh, 12, okay, so that's not bad, but still, I think this is probably a better location. Let's look at the last one and see if if that one is is better. And did I spell that wrong? Oh, that's two M's, I see. Okay, so that's over here. Uh, that's 23 pops. That's actually a pretty decent location and it's on the capital, uh, a capital for this, this province already. So the question is, do we have, let's just close all these. Do we have any cities in those two areas? I think that's what we'll base it off of. There's no cities in either one of these, I don't think. So yeah, it doesn't really matter in that regard. So I guess we're gonna do this one. I think that makes the most sense here, uh, which would be uh, right there. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna do this one here. Uh, it is well supplied, up to six pops will become Roman. Now one reason why you wanna consider population when you're you're picking these is, obvious, there's the obvious one because you know that they're gonna be a city now and, and so you have more pops there and so you can construct those buildings and they'll affect more, more pops since it's already more populous. But the other reason is because these uh, effects here, how many uh, pops become Roman, is based off of the population in, in the province. Uh, so this one here has six pops that will become Roman compared to four for the other two here, just because it's more populous. So yeah, that's uh, one reason to, to pick a more populous area as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And that will slowly become a city. Uh, we have one more, don't we? So let's go ahead and do that one next. And then we're not gonna do the Iberian dominance one. So we'll be able to complete the mission once we finish this here, uh, we do need to, this is gonna be up in the north. So we do need to find these provinces and, and just see which one we wanna do. Now, of course, we could just base it off the number of pops. I guess that's one way to do it, so you're not searching for it. Uh, but another thing I consider is is if it has a fort there, if it's already a capital location. So we're gonna still look for them, guys. Uh, this one is right here. So right there. We got a woad there and five total pops. So, yeah, you knew that one wasn't going to be very populous considering the fact that only two are going to be flipped, which I think that's the, the least that can be flipped, unless you only have one pop, of course. All right, so let's go and take a look at the next one. I don't think that's a good choice. I'm going to take a peek at this one here. That's seven pops, also not very populous. We got furs there. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be probably this one here. I think this is the most populous of them. Yeah, so it's probably gonna be this one here. It doesn't have a fort, but it is already a capital location up here in the Northwest. Uh, 20 total pops there. Yeah, I think that's that's clearly going to be the, the better location. None of these are, are cities, by the way, either. I, I typically prefer the city since it does flip more, uh, more pops over to your culture. Uh, and this one's over here in the Northeast, and it has a port already. This is not a bad location either. I do like that one. It's got a uh, salt there. Uh, but you know, I think we're gonna pick this one, guys. So with that, we can now complete the mission, right? Do you have to do this one to like complete it? Yeah, maybe you have to. Hmm, that's interesting. Cause yeah, it's not really a good one, honestly. Let's give it a second and see if it updates at all. I, th I really think that you have to complete that one though. We'll give it a little bit of time here. Give it like a month. Yeah, it looks like you do have to do that in order to, to finish the mission. Okay, yeah. yeah, I guess you could just hover over this here and it tells you you have to complete the Iberian Dominance. So very unfortunate, because this is kind of a garbage one. I don't really like it, I don't like the effects of it. Uh, but we should be able to complete the mission now, the mission tree. Let's go and finish it up. Now we didn't have to do that one, we could've just aborted it, I suppose. Uh, but I wasn't sure if you were gonna get any kind of effect. I don't think you do get an effect from finishing mission trees. Uh, in most cases. Uh, so we have Eastern Glory. Uh, this will be considered complete when we have Anatolia and Syria annexed. Hmm, I mean, I do eventually want to get this area here, but 
we had other uh, places we wanted to focus on before that, just to kind of close this up a little bit here, and then maybe even here as well. Let's see if there's anything else uh, that we might be able to get. All right, so we don't really want to get that region. That's in uh, Gaul. I'll show you region map mode here. So that's all of this region here. Now, we do have a good chunk of it. But yeah, I really don't think, uh, again, I don't know how much you have to still take. It looks like several tribes we'd have to still conquer in order to get that done. Yeah, I really don't know if that's the best one. Here's one we have for Greece. Now, I think the Greek one did affect the, the region up this way. So might want to, to do that. And the only thing really left in Greece is, is uh, Sparta. And, of course, we have uh, Byzantium. But yeah, I think we'll... We might do that one, because it might just be a real easy one to do. Uh, and then we have the Conqueror Subject Gaul, which of course would be all here. Yeah, I think this is probably the, the best one to, to work on next. Now, while I do want to conquer this tribe here, which is in Gaul, I don't plan on going all the way up here just yet. Uh, or ever. We might not even have time to do that by the time we do the other things we want to work on. So yeah, I think we should do this of doing Greece. Uh, we had this one once before, and we canceled it. Now, we can't already start with the Freedom first, because these are all bypassed, I'm assuming. Okay, this one is not bypassed. This is about conquering the territory there, which I think is just one province. If I'm not mistaken, it's really hard to tell. Yeah, it looks like it's just one province to be able to complete that one. As far as this one here, looks like we got to get 15 opinion with somebody up along the coast here. That shouldn't be too difficult to do. Yeah, we could just increase opinion. Of course, aggressive expansion will cause some issue with that. It just increases uh, opinion once ex uh, aggressive expansion gets lower, and we could complete that. And then I'll let us go down to these ones. All right, well, let's go and start with freedom first. Rome gains a claim on territories in Arcadia, Ill uh, illegitimately held by non-republics or foreigners. All right, I don't know if that'll help us at all, but let's go ahead and knock that out. Uh, it'll be completed in November. All right, excellent. So big focus of this episode is going to be burning off that aggressive expansion, guys. I doubt we'll even have uh, time to declare war on this tribe here, uh, since yeah, we've got a lot of AE I'd like to get to get burned off here. Uh, so we can say we should take care of the faithful. We would not get as high as religious tech investments, but we would gain some approval with the bony. We could spend a ton of money, or we can lose approval with the bony. I think this is the clear choice here for me. It's only 10 approval. It's not that big of a deal. And we're going to continue with the money, guys. All right, so this tribe wants to trade with us. We will agree, since they're our subject. And again, we do have a lot of annexation left to go. We're not even halfway there yet. Yeah, we got some time left for that. That's done. We're going to be trading for all our goodies here. One thing I didn't look at is the fort situation. I imagine we're going to want to make some changes if they have too many forts. Yeah, like this area here, you can see they have too many forts, so we'll definitely want to get rid of one. It's interesting that the, our capital here is one of the few places that isn't fortified. All right, um, are any of these, that's a forest, it's better than plains. So we'll probably want to get rid of one of these two here. Let's get rid of this one. I'm just gonna save a little bit of money here. Cause yeah, we, we, we're making a lot more before we took control of all this. And if they have two uh, two forts, I will leave them there just because we already know we're going to have some some problems in this area with uh, loyalty. I think we'll probably get rid of that one right there. Let's see if there's any other ones that have three fortifications. I don't think so. I think that's it. So that'll save us a little bit of money. And you know what? We can also save a bit more uh, with the, the fort maintenance. Not paying for that. Uh, we do need to create more legions, uh, but again, I, I really want to spend the money on either constructing buildings here to, to improve the loyalty, or, let's see who we want to trade with here, we'll trade with these guys, they keep on asking, uh, or just saving that money up so we can get a, another great wonder, uh, another thing I'd like to do. We might have some short wars here, not right now, I, I really feel like that aggressive expansion is way too high and we need to work on getting that a bit lower. We might have some short war, uh, wars if these guys aren't allied with anybody. To conquer Sparta and Byzantium. 
Let me just take a look and see if these guys have any allies. They do not. So this would be a real easy short war when it costs a lot of AE. Uh, what about Sparta? Let's take a look at Sparta. They also do not have any allies. So you can just kind of wrap these two locations up by doing that. And also it seems we have a mission that we can uh, get completed. Um, it looks like we did finish up that one mission, which we didn't get an event for or anything? Yeah, apparently not, unless this is about it. I don't think so. Nah, this looks like, uh, nah, this is something else. So yeah, we can say nonsense. Tell us, is, okay, this is yeah one of those events where you can get rid of the governor. He's a garbage governor. We must have just put him there for appeasing the family or something, because yeah, he's really cruddy. So you might just want to remove him. No matter what, uh, you know, you're going to decrease his loyalty. Well, unless you do this one, in which case you increase his loyalty, but then you piss off the, the province, and he also becomes more corrupt. And this is a province we have issues in, so you know what, guys? I think we're going to remove him and then just get him replaced. Maybe somebody a little bit better. So let's go over here. Oh, it looks like we also don't have a governor here either. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe we got an event about him dying or something. I just missed it or clicked right through it. So let's go to put somebody here that's that's decent. Doesn't have to be a family. None of our families are unhappy at the moment. This guy's pretty good. He's got some decent traits. Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, corruption's a little bit high. But you know, what? I think we're gonna pick him. Yeah, we'll go with him. Uh, and also it seems that he's disloyal. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even look at his loyalty. Uh, that's my bad. Yeah, he's very much disloyal. Okay, so that was not the best character to put in there. We'll have to bribe him, try and get him appeased. Yeah, not the best person to put there. I didn't even look at the loyalty. This time, let's let's look at the loyalty here. Uh, he did have the best traits, though, so that's what I was kind of basing it off of. Uh, so maybe just go with this guy here, although I kind of want a family member here. Yeah, I think it might be best. Uh, this guy's got decent martial. He's really young. He's kind of corrupt. Might just go with this character here. He's not that much worse than the finesse. He's from uh, the same family. Uh, no corruption. So yeah, we'll point you, we'll point him there. And let's see what the the mission that we have completed is. All right, so that's for owning all those territories there, and it's going to result in that province getting the local population happiness reduction, and one province is going to receive a fortress or a naval boon. Okay, I mean we'll do it because we have to do it to to move along the tree here, but I'm not sure uh, how beneficial this will be. Uh, so we can say the defense of a defensive island in the sea of hostility, in which case the province will gain a fortress. We're going to set say send our ship rights, and then it'll gain the ship recruit speed and ship starting experience. I suppose we'll just do the fortress here, but I think we actually have more fortresses than we need here, like a lot more now. Yeah, so let's go ahead and, and take a peek and see what we want to do in this region here, because yeah, we clearly have too many forts. I'm seeing one, two, three, but there should be a fourth one somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Uh, so yeah, there's just too many, too many damn forts here. Let me just see if there's any other areas where we have that similar situation of, of too many forts that I just didn't manage or deal with here. This is a larger fort, so you know what? Let's get rid of this one here. Yeah, we must have, after having a war here, maybe that one against the Egyptians and their ally, yeah, we must have just not have dealt with uh, the fortification situation over here, because yeah, same thing over here, just far too many forts. So yeah, let's go to get rid of uh, w at least two of them, probably. Yeah, so that we're under the the cap. As far as I mean, the capital is right there. Surprisingly, uh, this is actually the most populated. We're gonna get rid of this one. I think that's a clear choice to get rid of. That's the new fort we just got from that mission. And you know, we'll probably get rid of this one too. Just see. I mean, really, you don't need any of these, frankly. Yeah, let's just get rid of all these. We don't need to pay for these. It's not like we're having uh, any loyalty issues either. So yeah, there's really no reason to have those. Uh, we can now complete the next mission, Liberate Greece. Uh, so this one is going to give us the Liberator Greece modifier uh, plus 6% unintegrated culture happiness bonus. That is going to be super helpful because that applies everywhere. This is not uh, limited to Greece here. We're going to get this uh, for all of our provinces. So that will actually be really helpful. So we won't be able to start increasing opinion with any of these guys just yet. I don't see the point uh, as long as the aggressive expansion is as high as it is. Yeah, we'll trade with these guys. Yeah, so that we can complete that next mission uh, because we're already done with this whole branch here. Uh, so yeah, we'll go and 
click through that real quick. See who these guys are. Oh, larger tribe up here in uh, Sweden and Denmark. Interesting. Yeah, we'll trade with them. We haven't traded with them yet, so why not? I like seeing the large uh, tribes do well. And uh, do we have the ability to declare war? We do. So we could declare war on either of these. Let me just take a peek here. No, we can't declare war on them. We don't have a claim there. So yeah, we might want to do the one against Sparta. Uh, we'd need to move some, some troops over there. We have these guys here. Might be more barbarians that attack here. Uh, he's the better general, though. Could always rotate the generals. But you know what? I'm just going to bring this guy down here to quickly uh, do this conflict. It'll take him some time to get there. See where he could safely sit. Looks like that would be the best location. Move him on over there. So we can do that that quick conflict. Just try and get uh, Greece wrapped up. And make sure that doesn't uh, affect us on the mission tree either, because we don't have one or two provinces uh, under our control. Alright, so this uh, the last two that we did have not rolled off yet, so it'll be 144. I'm just trying to keep stability as, as high as we can, guys. I'd like to keep it real high. And we might get something with our Great Wonder for stability. I think we will. There's one that that boosts the stability a bit. And we want to keep this this empire of ours as stable as we, we possibly can. Uh, that province has become a city, as has the other one, so that's excellent. Probably going to want to build in those. It's going to be kind of hard to save money for a little while, guys, as we uh, focus on trying to get the, the stability up in some of these newly conquered regions. Uh, so that's not the new city. This is one of them. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a great temple and a theater there. I think that would be wise. And I suppose we can do something for some happiness as well. Go and tick up the uh, academy and the, the court of law. And the other cities right down here. Same thing over here. We're going to spend a ton, a ton of money to get those those constructed. And let's go and take a peek over here and see how the stability is looking. If uh, it, it is better. It's in a much better situation. But uh, and, and getting these probably wouldn't help much. Though the freemen are the ones that are the most unhappy. So getting... Uh, more pops to be nobles or uh, citizens would actually be helpful. So yeah, we might do that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that, guys. Doesn't help a whole lot, but it'll help some. Get an academy and get the, the court of law there. And then the other location where we were having issues was right here, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's not as, as bad now. It looks like we're actually uh, in the positive and going up. Uh, but there are a lot of freemen here, so let's go ahead and, and get the academy and the court of law there as well. Okay, excellent. So we might not get a great wonder anytime soon. Because we got all these other things that are uh, taking our money up. That looks like our character got sick there. And of course our granaries have been raided again. Luckily we actually have the, the money to deal with it. And we can't colonize here as well. Okay, so let's go and do that. Alright, fantastic. Just kind of slowly filling it in. Which would be helpful, make it less likely to have the, the barbarians attacking us here. And I'm not going to trade with Thrace. I'm tra already trading enough with them. Some of the goods we're trading for, we're getting from Thrace. And I did not train these uh, legions up, so we should get that, that going. As you can see, our military experience is, is not as high as it once was. And let's get these guys trained as well. Let's continue trying to get that uh, boosted as, as much as possible. And one of our governors just, just died. The treatment for this researcher. Okay, so it wasn't our consul that got sick. It was one of our researchers. And we're not going to trade with them. So yeah, we do have the one disloyal province here. It is starting to go up now, interestingly. Okay. Uh, I think that might be because we've got the aggressive expansion down some. And stability is looking pretty good as well. Uh, that's the first time we've seen it going up for some time. Yeah, so that's really good. Uh, but, you know what we can also do? Uh, maybe we can't. Maybe we finished up. Oh, okay. We're still doing the sponsor games. I guess we had already done that. We do have two governor positions that we have to get replaced. So let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't really matter if they're from a family or not. Though we will try and pick a family member if that's the best option. Uh, this family's getting happy. If we were to give them both positions, we can get them grateful. Which is always helpful. Let's see here. What does he have here? He's benefa uh, benefactor, so he'll increase the local slave happiness. Okay. He's 16. He's really, really young. 
it's a little bit corrupt, but you know what, guys? I kind of feel like he's a good person to put in these positions. Yeah, I think that's a good choice, even though he is from a, a family that's already happy with us. We have a celebration here. And we could spend a, a ton of money to get a little local population bonus in the capital. Yeah, that's not helpful at all. Yeah, we'll just have to do this. Uh, you know, if the capital's a bit unhappy, I, I don't think that's even going to cause anything because they are so happy. Even our slaves are happy here. Everybody loves us. So yeah, no problems in the capital, guys. Okay, so this character wants a position. He's old. We'll just let him whine. And Tribune died. Okay. Uh, that family is happy, though, so no issues with it. Now, I don't know if that's going to result in any of our legions having two little characters here. No. Now, we do need to increase the size of the legions. But for right now, I think we're okay. Like, we don't need the troops. But we do have a, a, a very low number of, of troops, really, when you look at the size of our empire. I just don't really see any advantage of, of getting more legions uh, just yet, since we're in a period of peace for some time. And might as well, uh, you know, earn as much money as we can during this period of peace. Again, trying to get that great wonder. Those things are so expensive if you want to get a really good one. So yeah, any money we can earn, I think we should... Uh, Focus on on that. Uh, you could get a huge chunk right here, uh, plus ten approval, or you get the the three stability, which we are losing stability. So I do want the stability, but man, that's that's a ton of money, guys. For only three stability. Yeah, let's let's do this one, guys. Uh, oops, I completely clicked on the wrong one. Well, I guess we got uh, stability instead. My bad. <laughs> it happens. Uh, we're gonna do this to boost the stability gain as well. You can just try to keep that as high as possible, but yeah, it is ticking down right now, unfortunately. It's because it's so high. So you get that decay, and of course the aggressive expansion's having its effects as well. You know, we haven't traded with these guys yet, so we're going to trade with them once, just to make sure we get like a little op uh, opinion boost with them. And we're already trading a lot with them. It's such a small, tiny tribe needing so many trade goods. Uh, we're not going to trade with them. Alright, so I think we'll go ahead and declare war on them real quick, since this will be a nice, easy conflict that shouldn't take very long. Let's move the troops over there, destroy the 2,000, take the, uh, the fort, and then the war is over. So a nice, easy conflict here, guys. Don't need to be paying for our forts while we do it, either. Uh, but we can't do anything right now until we get rid of this. Now we should be able to stop paying for the forts. And we will trade with them. Because, yeah, that does cost us a lot of money, you know, having those those forts paid for. You know, trading with one of these guys would be useful. Try and get the opinion up with them. And I suppose this will be the one we work on. Uh, let's go ahead and start doing that now. Improve opinion with them. Try and get it up as high as we can. Of course, as long as the aggressive expansion is where it's at, it's not going to get uh, high enough. All right, so yeah, we're at negative 76 right now. That should start going down. Or, or technically going up. Almost done with the siege here. Again, this should be a nice and easy conflict, costing, you know, maybe 1 AE. Not even 1 AE. All right, awesome. Because we have a claim. So now it's the Spartan Elite. I don't know if any of these guys are going to be impressive. You'd expect so, that there'd be like, yeah, there's there's a few characters. Uh, so let's go and pass judgment on the important families and see who we might want to accept. Okay, so I think what we'll do is offer it to him and him, and then have the rest crucified to gain back some of that popularity we just lost. And we'll trade with those guys. All right, so what we want to do now, uh, I don't think these guys can sit here, so let's go and move them. They don't really need to be down there at all anymore, so let's move them back up to where they were at. Or just somewhere around this area. Yeah, move them right there. Just in case we have any more barbarians popping up over there. And we need another governor. All right, so this is the co-consul. We can have them flogged. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's flog them. We'll get the uh, popularity bonus for that. I don't even know what we're flogging him for. I'm sure he did something worth it. Uh, this level 8 minor character, or this one here, would be the best to... Well, this guy's got high corruption, so he wouldn't be a good option. Uh, but would be the best to just based on their their finesse. 
But yeah, no real uh, family members up here. Yeah, none at all. Not until you go much further down. And since it's in Spain, where we're having the, the loyalty issues, I really think we should go with the best character. So let's go with this guy here. Although this location, we are not having loyalty issues. Loyalty's uh, in a pretty decent spot there. What we really need is a time where we don't have super high aggressive expansion for a little while to uh, to really try and get the loyalty up in some of these provinces. Uh, hmm. This is an older character here. He's not even very good. Could boost his marshal by one. I don't really see the benefit of that. I think we'll just go with this one and, and lose loyalty with him. Uh, crisis in Egypt. There's a lot of crises going on. Egypt has one, as does uh, the Slugans. And we have finished up our oratory advances. All right, fantastic. Uh, so let's go ahead and or fill, finished our oratory tech, I should say. So we already have it all laid out, which route we're going. Uh, but we did have to pick these two cruddy ones that we didn't really want in order to get down here. It's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and go with this one again. That's not that helpful. Uh, but then we'll start getting these ones here that are actually are a little bit more useful now. And... Where are these guys? Oh, they're right there. We'll, we'll trade with them, sure. And we can colonize over here. Only three provinces left to colonize there. All right, I really think we should try and get this, get this done if we can. So let's see if we can't move any pops here uh, that are Roman. We have some right here. Yeah, and this one's not, uh, doesn't need to be populated anymore. So yeah, we'll move them from here. Is there anybody else that looks like there's one here. I suppose, yeah, it's fine getting them all in one location. Even though that, that location also boarded right here. And that's it. That's all we can do. All right, well, let's take a look over here. And what we need to do here is, is uh, find the one that would be the best between these two. Looks like they're about the same. Yeah, probably about the same here, guys. So we'll just do, uh, see which one we'd want to do. I guess we'll do this one here. Move some pops over there. Try and get enough to colonize. It looks like that was it. All right, there we go. All right, so that's been colonized. There's one more province right here. Uh, so let's see if we can't get this one done. Uh, it seems like this is the clear choice, probably the one we've already been working on. So let's go to move as many pops as we need here just to get it done. All right, excellent. So we're done colonizing there. Fantastic, man. Uh, that does not necessarily stop the barbarians because they could come from these locations here, but you'll see there's no barbarian power there. So yeah, it looks like we shouldn't have any more barbarian issues here. That's very, very good news. All right, let's go and take a look at the last area right here. Uh, see if we can't get, get this done. See what the best location would be. Looks like it doesn't really matter which one we do here, guys. I guess we'll just do this one and just see if there's even any pops available to to move here yeah I'm not really seeing any here's one let's kind of scroll through this one more time and see if there's anyone I missed yeah not really any choices here guys we'll see if there's more available over here but I don't think so we just want to make sure we don't move any from that province yeah I'll take a peek and just see if there's any other any other options here? Yeah, just the ones that we just moved there. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to wait. So that's it. Uh, well, I guess you got these two as well. We still have to get done. And then, of course, there's this area, which this is going to take a long time, so I'm not really going to focus on that at all. It'll happen naturally. But if we can only have one front where we have to worry about barbarians, that would be awesome. Since... You know, like this legion here, there's really no reason to keep him there uh, or to have any legion sitting in Africa. So we'll likely move those guys uh, over to wherever the next area we fight is. Uh, but again, until we get this aggressive expansion down, we're not going to fight anywhere. And we already know what we're doing for the next fight. It's going to be the declaring war on them. We do not have a claim, so we will have to work on that. But we won't do it just yet. So it could increase this character's loyal. He's, loyalty. He's not very loyal, and that would kind of boost our political influence. So it would be helpful. So yeah, I could do that, or instead could get the national tax modifier. You know, let's boost his loyalty. Just trying to get a little bit more political influence. 
And we will trade. I don't think we're trading with them yet. We'll trade with them. About halfway there to having the money we need for the, the wonder. And we also have some barbarians. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. And take a look at where the barbarians are at. Uh, yeah, we do have the barbarians over here. I forgot about that situation. They're like popping out of provinces and the mountains and such. All right, so we'll have to go take care of them. Uh, we're going to send the whole 13,000 over there. And looks like we need a new new uh, researcher here. We got a level 10 guy, and he's from this family here. So, yeah, I think we'll pick him. Let me just see if there's... I doubt there's anybody better. But we'll, we'll take a peek real quick. Make sure we have the uh, best characters here since since we're here. Again, I don't expect we'll find anybody. Nope. Oh, we do actually have an unhappy family. Okay, well, we can always take one position from the Decius. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let's just see if there's any offices that they're in that we could replace. Looks like they have two positions here. Let's go... Well, actually, they have three because they're down here as well. Let's go with this one here. That's who we'll replace. And it's not... A member of the unhappy family there. It'll be a level three here. Alright, well, if we're gonna replace him with somebody cruddy, I'd prefer to do it like a cruddier character. Let's just see if they have anybody that's better for here. Yeah, uh, level three. He's slightly uh, worse. Yeah, he works, I suppose. There might have been somebody here for that position. I don't know. We'll take a peek real quick. I don't think so. I don't remember which family it was that was unhappy, but. You know, I had talked about getting that family grateful with the nine position. You need 12 positions. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, you'd have to have 12 positions to, to have a family grateful. So, yeah, we're not going to get any families grateful at all. Uh, we'll be battling this guy here and chasing him down there. Getting him destroyed. All right, excellent. Going to move him back down here. Though we haven't seen barbarians come over here for a while. Maybe the uh, civilization's high enough around that area where it's not so much of a threat. Yeah, perhaps. We're down to uh, 21.36 on the aggressive expansion. Could go ahead and get a claim here real quick. And I think we will. So we can just get them conquered. So it's going to fabricate a claim there. And could also fabricate a claim here as well just to get working on that since we do have the political influence for it. And let's go with that location there. All right, so we're working on those two claims. And I think we need to also boost the stability. Yeah, try and get that into the positive if we can. Yeah, point, uh, 0 0.02. And we will continue to trade with those guys. We are still disloyal in that one province. They're not going up very high. Uh, so that's going to take them a long time before we get rid of that that disloyal province modifier uh, alert, I should say. Trade with these guys again. Although, how close are we to... Yeah, we'll have the Manic soon. Uh, we did get the Religious Advances. Excellent. Let's go and see what we like to get here. I think we're going with the... Uh, yeah, we got to get that National Man Manpower modifier, which is just not all that great. That's like the last thing we need right now. All right, uh, but we do want to get that state religion happiness. We also want to get the four free province investments, which are always useful to have. All right, so have more manpower. <laughs> We're sitting at 421,000 for our cap, so obviously it's not really an issue. Uh, we can't colonize here, excellent. Uh, so the next place we want to colonize is right there. So we might want to go ahead and move any Roman pops over to this one here. As I'd love to just get this area done if we can. Got one here. One there. And that might be all. Yeah, that's it. But we could just move any uh, Romans here that aren't of the right uh, faith with the hope that they would be converted eventually. Is at least of the right culture. I, guess so, I suppose you could say the same thing about the, uh, the religion, though. We'll move them here. It's going to probably be a little while before we can get that last location colonized. So we now have a new consul. It looks like he's really cruddy. Okay, so that's unfortunate. And we can also do the negotiate with the Illyrian since we did get uh, their opinion high enough, it seems. Let me just take a peek here. 
Yeah, what did it need to be at? Just 15? Yeah, it just needed to be at 15. So we can go ahead and knock that one out. Uh, this is going to take uh, to the 2nd of March of next year. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what all these are about. Obviously, got some trade offers. Uh, we have uh, the two governors who, I guess both of them were the consul and co-consul. So we need to get them replaced here. And we also have two unhappy families. Well, the consul and co-consul came from... Uh, you know, families, as as you'd expect. Not surprising. Let's go with this guy here. He does increase the happiness in this area, which... Uh, a freeman, which would be helpful. Uh, doesn't help with our unhappy families, of course. And over here, we'll just put uh, a guy from the... One of the unhappy families. We'll put this guy there. Uh, so we still have one more unhappy family. The Cornelius family. So we can just take from the Decius, because we're never going to get anybody grateful, because it does require the 12... Uh, 12 positions, and yeah, that's just not happening. Uh, so instead, let's just get rid of one of them and uh, replace him with somebody from the Cornelius family. Pretty much, yeah, this guy is clearly the best choice here. Actually, he might be better for, let me just take a look, for technology. Yeah, he would be a better choice when it comes to the, uh, the technology here. All right, well, let's go ahead and dismiss him then and get him moved over to that position. Yeah, that would be wise. Let's see if there's anybody else here. I don't think so, again. We just looked at this. So yeah, we need to get somebody for the auger position. I guess we'll go with the, the best character, level 10. All right, so let's go and take a look at our new console. Again, I, we already know he's, he's cruddy. Five Marshall, five Charisma, four. I mean, slightly under average for everything, so just not very good overall. As far as his traits go, he's monotonous. That's not a good one. Guileless. Not a good one, really. Although it does reduce his corruption. He doesn't have any corruption, though. He's a benefactor. I guess that gives you a little bit of boost there with the slave happiness. And generous. Okay, so his traits aren't all garbage. It could be much worse. Uh, let's go ahead and sponsor games. And we're just going to have to keep on sponsoring games in that one province. As long as we're having uh, issues there. Which, until we conquer that territory, I think we'll continue to have issues there. That's unfortunate. But yeah, it is, it is what it is, guys. Need to get this aggressive expansion burned down. That will help a lot as well. We need to stop having it so high all the time. Uh, so we're just never ticking up loyalty in some of these provinces because aggressive expansion is always high for us. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. We've seen this event many times before. Could just get a little bit of political influence. Is this character good at anything? He actually is pretty good at something. So we can say not that we're not going to interfere with it and just get the uh, political influence, which is always needed. Or we could do this one here, in which case our new console would get popularity, which he definitely needs. He'd get corruption, which he could take down. That character there would come disloyal, and uh, we'll get the citizen happiness bonus, bonus with the uh, slave penalty. You know, I think we will go for that one. Yeah, this is, I think that would be the most beneficial for us. That does give that national modifier, boosting the citizen happiness, so that's pretty helpful. Although this is not going up, the loyalty is not going up as, as quickly as it was before. He does want to change up the, the laws, which we do not want to do, so we'll just have to p piss off the Populars uh, party again. Something we do quite consistently. Uh, but even then, they're still at 50, because they liked us so much. We had them at 100. I guess we had all parties that were quite happy with us, but look at how, how much control they have. Yeah, they are definitely dominating. We got the civic advances, excellent. Uh, so, with this one here, we're going after... I guess we can go after the export value to get more money. I think that's what the next one we wanted, yeah. Just want to make sure we didn't have anything else, you know, marked with our planning mode. So, next would be the trade ports, which is pretty good. That'd be a nice modifier. We're earning a ton of money now. So we should be able to get that Great Wonder. Maybe next episode. Depending on what kind of events we get and how much they hit our our finances. Uh, this position here, we're just going to give to the unhappy family. The Cornelius family. Don't really care who gets that. And, and we also got the Marshall advances knocked out. Excellent. These guys want to become a tributary. The ones we've been increasing opinion with. Alright, yeah. Why not? We'll do that. Make them into a tributary. Uh, the one province that we don't have here is, is Thrace's property. So we'd have to do a, a, a bigger war. But doing a war with Thrace, not only do we get this conquered, 
We can also conquer all this here. It looks like they've been conquering territory. Interesting. What would be really advantageous for us if they conquered all this here, and then we could just attack Thrace and then get all of it. That'd be really nice. Are we... Yeah, we are fabricating there. All right, so we're currently working on both of these two locations here, and we did them at the same time, so they'll be done at the same time. Uh, so let's go to get a martial advance. Oh, yes, that is right. We finished up over here, and so now we have to choose uh, a new route to go. See, I could get the starting experience and bonuses with those that discipline there. There's also these here. Or we can start working on trying to get the sieges done a little bit quicker, uh, which might be the one we want to work on. Let me just see. This is uh, fort defense. You get a siege ability there, but yeah, I'm not too concerned about the fort defense. Rarely are we being sieged. Typically, we're the ones doing the sieging. So we probably want something for the siege ability with getting the siege ramps being uh, really helpful. And then which route would we want to go down to get to this one here? Though this does decrease army movement speed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. Engineer costs, money's not an issue. It is helpful getting the plus one for the siege engineers. That is helpful. But yeah, you're also getting a penalty for that. Yeah, I don't really like that. Huh. Now we might just want to work on these ones. Yeah, these ones here to get the... 5% siege ability and then get down to here to get another 5% for a total of 10%. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. So, obviously, we're going to be selecting this one first, the siege ladders. A lot of assault better. And then, yeah, we want to get these two here and then the siege ramps. Uh, the only one you have to get is the Scorpio one to be able to get this. So, yeah, we're going to get those two and then we might be done. We could go out to the siege engineers plus one, I suppose. And could even do uh, that one. But after that, I think we're going to be done here. And you know what? We might just, you know, we did spend so many of our early advancements on the martial ones. So unless we're going to start going the, the naval route, I think we might use up any martial advances we get, which this might take the rest of the game for all I know. Uh, we might have some after getting these ones. Uh, but if we do, then we'd probably use those somewhere else on some of the other trees where we're a little bit uh, further behind or we have just more things we'd like to get. All right, so they did accept, so they're now a tributary. Fantastic. Yeah, good news. What we need to do is take a peek at... Well, actually, what we need to do is end the episode. Uh, I was going to say we could take a look at the uh, uh, missions to see what we have to do to complete the next ones here we'll take a look at that next episode though guys because i do have to end it here i went a little bit more than i was planning on going actually because uh, yeah this was supposed to be a much much shorter episode but uh we're gonna have to end it here hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment I do hope to see you guys on the next one and thanks for watching